Hey, what's up, guys? You got CoTab here, and we're gonna do another showdown live. Uh, I got this team, just threw it together. It's not that good. It's really not. Um, whenever I make a team, don't think that it's any good because when I do these showdown lives, at least for a while anyway, they're gonna be testing out a lot of the new stuff. Um, so yeah, don't don't expect any of my teams to actually be good. But I wanted to t try out a few things. Uh, number one being this Yveltal set. Uh, Yveltal is such a versatile Pokemon. It's got great stats. It's got good typing. It's got a great move pool. Um, it could be better move pool, but the moves that it does get can work in a lot of different ways. So uh, I decided to try this out. Um, it's a uh, toxic stalling one uh, with just a little bit of HP enough to take uh, four seismic tosses and uh, four stealth rock switch-ins, or five stealth rock switch-ins, excuse me. Um, it's got max defense and a bunch of special defense. I haven't tested it out yet, but um, I used to run a Cure in Black with a very similar EV spread, so uh, and that was my Skype going off talking to a subscriber, actually. Um, but, uh, so yeah. I used to run a Q in Black back in the day with a similar set that was a uh, sub dragon tailing set which worked really really well in OU but then they banned the Axis defense and completely ruined that team. Um, so yeah we got Oblivion Wing to get back some HP, Roost to get off some immediate HP if I need it, um, Taunt just to shut down some uh, some other Pokemon such as this Deoxys Speed that I have here, a Ferrothorn, uh, Blissey's, stuff like that. Um, Toxic, just for damage, obviously. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all that's all that's for this set. The next set I'm going to run on this thing is actually a really good set. I can't wait to use it, but uh, I've been thinking of a lot of sets for Yveltal. Next we have Blissey, which is um, max HP, max special defense. Now, a lot of people think that you should put defense on a Blissey, but no, that's, that's just silly talk, because this thing can't take physical hits to begin with. Uh, and it's base 10, I mean, look at this. You take off the special defense, put it into defense, it brings it up to 119. That's that's not much at all, guys. That's not enough to take, you know, strong physical hits. So I feel that um, a uh, specially defensive Blissey is definitely superior, especially since the Uber's metagame right now has a ton, a ton, a ton of special special attackers, which is why I have uh, two two really big uh, physical threats on this team. So um, we'll get to those in a second here. We have uh, Dax's Speed, which um, if you know me from a while ago, you know that I do not like suicide leads. I bash on them all the time, but I needed a way to get up hazards to make uh, Yveltal and Blissey stall successfully. So that and it clears up a way for these two to sweep so I just kinda decided you know what let's go ahead and get, give Deoxys speed a whirl uh, that and it cleans up an extra move slot on my Ferrothorn which I am pretty fond of but uh, yeah if you know me I'm not a fan of suicide leads so we're gonna try this out I might pause in the middle and switch this out for something else because I hate suicide leads I think they're a terrible idea next we have Mega Mewtwo X uh, I actually got this uh, set from a guy by the name of Blame Truth. Some of you might know him. He's a great YouTuber. One of my favorites, actually. Uh, and he does a lot of Pokemon stuff. He made up this set. It's a sub-bulk up set. Uh, the idea is to send this in, scare something out, and as they're being scared out, you Mega Evolve and then set up a sub, which a lot of people expect you to just straight up attack because this thing has monstrous attack. But, um, when you substitute, you catch them off guard, then you get a free bulk up. And since this thing has decent defenses, you can take a couple hits. Now his set actually had a HP and special defense investment. I'm not all about that. I want this thing to hit hard and uh, be as fast as possible. So I just gave it uh, two attacking moves. Drain Punch to get back a little bit of HP since there's no leftovers. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all it is. And then we have regular Banded Scizor. Um, I wanted to use Scizor, this is a, a bulky, uh, specially defensive Scizor, I wanted to use Scizor and I thought about making it the Mega instead of Mewtwo, but um, Meg Scizor doesn't really need a Mega Evolution, honestly. Uh, this thing's already really powerful and with the Choice Band it's pretty much just as powerful as regular, uh, or as 
Mega Scizor. I'm um, running Pursuit over Thief. Thief got a buff this generation, so um, Thief is actually 60 base power, so it's arguably better than Pursuit, but I want to Pursuit Traps, thing like Garatina and uh, Latios and Latias, stuff like that. Uh, and then we have my standard Ferrothorn. I love Ferrothorn and Ubers. It is the number one check to um, a lot of things, actually, but mainly uh, mainly um, Kyogre. Kyogre is a huge threat in Ubers, and Ferrothorn can completely tank anything that it has to do. So let's see what we got here. This guy has an interesting... S actually, this is the exact same as Blame Truth set, I, th I think. Awesome. Great variety. And why is there no music? Hello? Turn this stuff on. Uh, there we go, there we go. Okay, um, I'm just gonna lead off with Deoxys Speed, just because it's what it's there for. Uh, but yeah, this is the exact same as Blame Truth set, which I was just talking about. So, yeah, he put on the battle timer and I already made a move. That's, that's how laggy Showdown is. I don't know what this the guy is gonna do. I kinda wanna taunt him straight up because he can't really one sh well, I have a sash, so there's no way he can one-shot me. I'm just going to taunt him. He might try to mega and go for a sub, which in that case, taunting is my best play. Which, yep, he did try to bulk up. I'm going to get up some rocks now. And as you see, I have Psycho Boost as attacking move. I could run Magic Coat, but eh, you don't really need it. So he's not even going to go mega. He's just going to stay regular Mewtwo. I'm not quite sure why, because now I can get up a lot of hazards. There, now he goes mega. And... See how much more that <laughs> Drain Punch did? And his taunt ended. I am still faster, so I'm going to taunt him again. So that way he can't sub and he can't bulk up. Which is... <laughs> I know exactly that's what he's going to try to do. Because, like I said, this is the exact same as Blame Truth team. And I watch Blame Truth a lot, so I know what these things do. But, uh... It was safer to taunt him and die rather than to not taunt him and die. Because, um... If I would have not taunted him then he would have uh, then he would have been able to sub or bulk up the next turn but I do have Yveltal which is a great counter for Mewtwo especially this set it can't touch it can't touch Yveltal at all so I'm gonna get up a second layer of spikes and we're looking good to go got up a lot of spikes a lot of stuff and I'm gonna go right into my Yveltal cause this guy he just can't he can't handle this not at all uh, and I have taunt on this thing too I kind of want to go for the Toxic, yeah, because I'm going to predict a switch. Actually, he's just going to stay in. That's completely fine. Now he's on a timer. He's going to die eventually, and his taunt ended, so that's fine. I got the t uh, Toxic off before that, uh, and Oblivion Wing should do a decent amount of damage. I'm not invested in any special attack, but I think it'll do a lot. I think, I think it'll do a lot. Come on, dude. Pick a move. Come on, it's not that hard. You're, you're gonna have to switch out to something. Come on, this isn't chess. Like I said in my last session, you put the timer on, you better be fast. Because that's just gonna irritate me. And honestly, I don't see why you people, like, put the timer on anyway. Like, some people view it as an insult to put the timer on. I don't, I don't get why that would be an insult, because 150 seconds is more than enough time way more than enough time. Look how much HP I just got back. 150 seconds is more than enough time to think and do a move. Like, I have I have ran like five damage calculations in the time that it takes for that 150 seconds to run out, so it is no big deal whatsoever. And we took out that Mewtwo and came out barely touched. This is why you don't try to lead off with an attacker and set up first turn. Do I make myself clear? God, hate it when people do that. It's stupid. It never works. It never works. Unless you're a noob, then it works. Like facing a noob, then it works. Uh, Xerneas, I kind of want a toxic. I don't know. Well, he's gonna be faster than me and Geomancy up, so I'm gonna toxic. Put him on a timer. Um, I have Blissey, which can take its hits decently, I guess. I don't know how well it'll take a Focus Blast, is the thing. Moon Blast, that hurts. Okay. I did not expect him to go straight up for the attack. 
and I forget I keep forgetting you know this whole fairy thing is throwing me way off I keep forgetting about its type charts like ugh. I need to learn these things I'm gonna go into Blissey now so I can come in and roost later because he didn't get up rocks Wow Blissey <laughs> look how well it takes that holy crap I'm gonna throw a wish in the air and maybe I could pass it who knows but he's gonna try to t uh, geomancy up that's no big deal because I have a wish in the air and I am just going to seismic toss I should take this focus blast decently yeah I don't even take half from that so that's that's pretty good and he's gonna die from toxic this turn that's cool this guy is accomplishing a whole lot of jack squat <laughs> I guess that's what he gets for using the exact carbon copy of a YouTuber's team. Because now I know what to expect. Is that exclamation point logic? I don't know. Arceus, he's an extreme killer. Um, I have Ferrothorn. Or I could sack Yveltal. Hmm. Or I could take a hit and try to Toxic. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, because I don't think he's gonna sub. Yeah, he's just gonna try to set up. Did I miss? I missed. Awesome. That's, yep, mm-hmm. And I'm gonna die from an extreme speed now. But that's honestly okay, because once this thing's out of the way, I can... I can honestly sweep with Mewtwo at that point. Um... I see Life Orb? He is Life Orb. So I'm gonna try to go into you, Veltal sack it get him some life orb recoil um, I'm just gonna go for oblivion wing in case he tries to recover off then I could get some HP back but I think he he should just outright kill me and then I don't know if this is always bullet punch will kill though that's the thing I don't even know if I could take two probably not he just goes for a shadow claw yep, get some life orb now, if Scizor's Bullet Punch does not kill Ferrothorn, I'm pretty sure could take it. Because he's Swords Dance, Shadow Claw, Extreme Speed. Hmm. And I don't think he has Brick Break, so that's alright. We're just going to go for BP. It's the most powerful move I have, and I do take that pretty well, actually. And next turn, he'll die from uh, Life Orb, unless he tries to uh, recover. Which, if he does, I just kill him right now because of bullet punch priority. So, yep, down he goes. And now I can go into the threat known as Mewtwo. And I don't think he's going to expect me to have the same set as him, that's the thing. So I think, I think we're going to be okay. I think I got this game from here. Um, yeah. Alright, Fortress. Huh. Huh. I'm just gonna go Mega and sub because there is nothing he can do to break my sub. Absolutely nothing. Gyro Ball? Actually, that does break my sub. Holy sh. Whoa. I stand corrected. Actually, I'm sitting. I sit corrected. Holy crap. That broke my sub. I didn't expect that, but that does a decent amount of damage. How much does... Okay, he rapid spins. That was a decent play. That was a decent play. I should have subbed there. Hmm. I don't know how much that gyro ball will do, though. That's a, hmm. Like, I want to bulk up. Because I know he's cussed app. I'm going to bulk up. Yeah, I take that pretty well. So I'm going to bulk up again. I'm just going to set up in his face because there's nothing he can do about it. I bulk up one more time and I can... Well, actually, I could knock him out right now. But he's a cussed at Barry. That's why he doesn't have leftovers. But now I could pretty much guarantee a one-shot on Blissey and a two-shot on Jellicent. And Ferrothorn can one-on-one -on -one Jellicent, so that's no big deal. And I think Ferrothorn can one-on-one -on -one Blissey, too, because I have Leech Seed. So awesome. 
There's pretty much nothing he can do left. Yeah, there's not much he can do. I'm gonna Psycho Cut. This should do at least, at least 60%. At least. I'm 100, like, 190 bit. Holy crap, I just straight up take. <laughs> Holy crap, I just destroyed that Jellicent. Oh my god. Mewtwo. I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna name this session Yv Bulky Yveltos session number two, but well, holy crap, this will be Mewtwo X stories. Haha, <laughs> awesome. Get some nice points off of that. That's that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Uh, yeah. I guess we'll find the next battle. We'll be right back.